Hello everyone, welcome to my video. So in today's video, we're going to work with React and today we're going to build this one right here, this rich tech editor right here. It's actually super easy to do, so let's get started. So in order to achieve this, we need to use something called CK editor. It's really easy to do, to do so I will leave the link in the description so you can go ahead and copy this one and install it in your tech editor. I'm using VS Code here, you can use whatever you want. So here I'm already installed it already, uh, uh, CFOC, uh, CK editor. So I'm actually need to import this too. So then after that, after you are done installing, so then you import this one. And then here I'm create an empty component. So return so if right here. So I'm actually going to just return hello world. I'm going to call it article. Article and then alright. So now I'm gonna export this one to index.js. So import it just to demonstrate to you guys with this one. So maybe from editor. And then I'm going to Change this one to editor. All right, cool. So now if we go back, we will see other call here. Okay, cool. Now let's actually choose our CK editor. Let's see how we can do it. CK editor, and then we have some property called editor. Editor equal to class editor. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. As you guys can see, it just like that. It's it's so he, it it's it works just like that. It's super easy, right? So let's actually. I'm using Bootstrap here, so I'm gonna put the class container. So it's nice looking as well. Okay, good. So let's see how we actually gonna get this data from this one right here and then how we actually store it in our state so here I'm gonna use empty state cons value set value and then it's equal to use state so I'm using a react hook here just so you can still do with component so a class component okay. alright good so now we need to set on chain. So what, whenever this on chain, I'm gonna call the function handle handle on chain. Good. So then it's gonna take two parameter cons handle on chain equal to e for event and editor. And I'm using arrow function so. Actually, console it lock the editor value. So to get data, we need to get data. So if you wonder how can I know this stuff, you just look at the document. I leave it the link in the description so you will can see it. So let's go open the console and then let's type in. So you can see this is all the data that we get. So let's actually bring it to the uh, page. So after you get this one, what you can do is super easy, just count data equal to editor dot get data. And then you set the value to data. And just like that, and then you're going to display. Div display value. So there will be some problem, so as you might you will notice it. So Hello. So you can see, actually, it's going to return the p paragraph tag here, which we don't want. So how are we going to solve this one? So in order to solve this one, we can just use uh, the library here called the React Passers. So it actually convert those into the uh, the text first. So I'll leave the link in the description as well. Go ahead and copy this and install it. I've already done it. So um, I, I need just need to import it, and then 
Okay. Oh, what? The? <laughs> this one from React HTML passes. And then what we can do to React HTML passers open parentheses close it and just like that the magic is happening. Alright, so hello, good, and heading. Hmm, you can see I can do ball, I can do I. So I think that's it for today. I think that is for the video, and I hope you like this video. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to get more video. I'm going to release more video about React, and I hope you guys like it. So, alright.